All right, hey guys. Um, finally got the uh, Verde Panama installed in my front room. Uh, it's been up here for you know about a week now. Um, it's a long overdue video. I meant to do this a while ago, but I just you know never had time for it. Now I finally have time. I have a whole house to myself, so should be good. Um, so yeah, it it does appear that the board is fried. Um, cause it doesn't work on, um, demo mode and you have to have the light on for the fan to operate. So that's no big deal. My dad said he's alright with it because, as you can see, it does go pretty nicely with the drapes. So, <laughs> there was a bit of a mishap here. Um, I didn't accommodate for the fact that the switch from the kitchen fan was so deep, so it didn't fit, so my dad just told me to... Actually, after I already had the hole in, my dad said, well, why don't you just put it here? So, it's obviously too late for that. So, alright, there we go. Power's on. So, there's light. Um, and I've heard different different things from different collectors. Um, some people tell me Phillips works better. Some people tell me Cree works better. Uh, personally, I found that Cree LEDs work a lot better. Oh, and another thing to mention, these are not the original shades that I came with. Um, that's what they look like. I got these from Habitat for like a buck a piece, and I actually really like the look of them on here. I think they look really good. So anyways, as you can see, it does not work with the light off. Very nice aesthetic low speed. Um, <coughs> ugh, excuse me. This is a speed that's on a good majority of the time. Like we just have it running. There's something up there. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Let's go to speed two. For the longest time, we had a dead ladybug up there. It's like clean on for dear life. It is windy as heck out there, like, you don't even know. The power in my school almost went out uh, yesterday. That was pretty cool, so, um, almost had to cancel school. That would have been cool, because I don't think we have backup generators. Alright, speed four. It's starting to shake yet. I think it's speed five where it shakes. So let's go to speed five. Um, and actually it doesn't shake too bad, it's it, um, just a small little thing, speed high, it's uh, speed 6 that shakes the most. Another thing to mention, I, uh, there's still a lot of paint on there, I just never tried to get it off because I don't want to ruin the finish, so if anyone knows how to uh, remove that, let me know, because that would be really helpful. So as you can see, the blades are pretty well aligned. Um, kind of surprised because it seems like uh, oh, what is it? I'm trying to, pine. Pine seems like it uh, warps because it has a high, higher moisture level than uh, most woods. Uh, and I did a spin down between these two, and it seems like this uh, wins. Between this and the Delta, obviously the Homestead is, that's just not even fair, because the Homestead is just, I'm not really sure what it is, because it seems like between the Homestead and the Design House, the Homestead um, wins every time. You know, I think maybe because it has six blades, but it doesn't seem, I don't know, I'm really not sure why the Homestead takes so long to spin down, I would think it has something to do with the amount of blades that it has, and being that's equal, um, maybe, I don't know, because you'd think with more blades, more surfacer, and more wind resistance, yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to think of why the homes, why spinner motor homesteads seem like they, uh, take forever, Or is that the case with all homesteads? That might be the case with all homesteads. There's, um, Dan did a video 
of one of my habitats, and they had a homestead there with a uh, similar like it to this, kind of like K-Forest design, but it was brass, and I don't need brass. In fact, I don't even really like brass fans, but some of them I do. The Delta was kind of a mistake. Although, I don't know, maybe not. It was sort of, because, you know, I'm, I'm not using it. Um, yeah. I'm running out of memory, or not memory, but battery, battery life. Uh, which blade was it? One of these blades had a huge glob of paint on it. Who is? Yeah, that one. Alright, let's test it in reverse. Yeah. Um... There we go. So you can operate it on, um, you can operate it while it's, um, while the light's off, as long as it's on. So if, like, you, you have to turn the light on to get the fan started, but once it's going, you don't need, uh, you don't need the light. Another thing that, uh, Dan said was, uh, if a fan is gonna shake, it's gonna shake on reverse medium speed, but this, this doesn't shake at all on medium, or on reverse at all, and it only shakes on high forward, so I find that rather weird, and I've noticed the same thing that he says, so, I don't know, because the homestead only shakes on medium reverse, but it doesn't shake on any other speed, forward or reverse, um, in the Beacon Hill, that's a completely different story, that thing is completely whack, Four. Um, it's like between blades and I don't even know what the issue was. I, re I replaced the ball on it and I replaced the canopy. Speed five. I replaced the ball and down right because the ball was connected to the down rod, so I just saved myself a couple minutes and swapped it from the uh, summer breeze in my attic. And speed six. I don't think it's shaking, is it? If it is, it's very little. I just love how completely quiet this thing is. It's so awesome. Compared to the, uh... Alright. Anyways. That's the uh, Verde Panama 5 uh, installed in my living room. Um, thanks for watching.